we had a controversial summer break when Alpine announced Piastri, and then Piastri announced that he wasn't going to drive for Alpine. Then we had a contractual dispute between McLaren and Alpine, and we finally know that Piastri will drive for McLaren in 2023. And here is the full breakdown of the timeline when Piastri signed the supposed contract with Alpine and why Piastri chose McLaren over Alpine. Of course, all the sources that I will use for this video are linked down below. So let's break down the timeline of all these events. So we start on November 15th when Piastri signed this document that we will call the term sheet. The term sheet is extremely important since it is the contract that Alpine believed they had with Piastri. All right, so let's break down what this term sheet mentioned and what it had. So the header of this term sheet was headed subject to contract, which after a quick Google search, subject to contract means neither party intends to bond either in law or in equity unless and until a formal contract is made. So in other words, this is not an actual contract. And this term sheet outlined a reserve driver role for 2022 and a possible drive from 2023 and onwards in Formula One. It's understood that after Piastri and his team signed this, they would be sent a full contract proposal shortly. So they waited and they waited and they waited. And we fast forward to almost the beginning of the season and Alpine had to submit a super license application for Piastri, allowing him to become the reserve driver for the team as they had agreed before. But Alpine took so long to send the contract to Piastri's team that they were not able to sign the reserve driver contract on time. So what did Alpine do? Um, remember that term sheet that we mentioned before that actually wasn't a contract yeah so alpine just got that sheet and they added a few words to it and those words were legally binding heads of terms after submitting this document piastri was able to be alpine's 2023 reserve driver what is more surprising is that alpine was in no rush to sign piastri they sent them a contract proposal until may 19th so let's do a quick recap piastri signs the term sheet on November 15th of 2021, which wasn't an actual contract. Alpine promised that they would shortly send a contract proposal, which they didn't. And Alpine blamed the setbacks on having short staff. So they had the Piastri team waiting since November and they sent a reserve driver agreement on early March, but the Piastri team didn't have enough time to sign this document. And it wasn't until May 19th when the team received the contract proposal all right, so let's talk about the details of this contract that was given to the Piastri team. Piastri received a four-year contract. The problem was that it wasn't with only one team. The contract said that Piastri would drive for Williams in 2023 and possibly in 2024, depending on the performance of Alonso. Then from 2025 to 2026, Piastri would have a seat at Alpine. The problem was that Piastri didn't want to drive for Williams and he also didn't want a long-term contract with Alpine. So around this time, it's understood that Piastri and Mark Webber, his manager, began looking for other alternatives for 2023. So McLaren, who apparently informed Dana Ricardo around May that they were looking for other options for 2023, became very interested in signing Piastri. On June 4th, Piastri and McLaren signed a contract but it wasn't specific on the role Piastri would play in McLaren. That contract would be signed on July 4th, specifically giving him the driver role for 2023. And after signing this contract, Piastri just waited for McLaren to finalize Daniel Ricciardo's exit. So for this reason, it is likely that Daniel Ricciardo's post on Instagram was more of a bargaining tool for a higher pay than him not knowing what was going on with the Piastri situation. The most interesting part of the timeline was that Piastri informed Alpine that he was interested in joining another team around June and Alpine was still not in any rush to finalize contract talks with Fernando Alonso because they were just confident that Piastri was going to stay with them. It just shows that maybe Alpine was a bit too confident that they were going to keep two drivers and they ended up losing two drivers. Let's just end the video with what we all know now. Alonso announces a surprising move to Aston Martin which Alpine was not prepared for. Alpine announces that Piastri will drive for them when Piastri already had a contract with McLaren. Although Alpine argued that they had a contract with Piastri, we know now that when they talk about the contract they had with Piastri, they refer to the term sheet, which was headed subject to contract, which made it not an actual contract. And that's how we ended with the final decision on Friday of the Dutch Grand Prix. 
So that's the full timeline of the Piastri, Alpine, and McLaren controversy. Let me know your opinions. Did McLaren screw Daniel Ricciardo? Was Piastri not loyal to Alpine? And how bad did you think Alpine screwed up? That's it for me today. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.